Today I'm going to try out the new Red Heart Granny Square yarn. Essentially this yarn is said to change colors automatically for each round of traditional granny square. Um, I don't think it's going to work for everybody. Obviously I never think it's going to be perfect because everybody has completely different tension. Not everybody chains. I think that they chain three in their corners. I chain one. Um, so it's never going to line up perfectly for everybody. But I'm not a real big stickler for color changes anyway. I use a lot of variegated yarns that change color randomly throughout. So even if it's mostly right on the rounds, it's okay with me. I think it'll be great, but we'll see if it's really off or how it turns out for me as a tight crocheter with only chaining one. I am sizing up to a size six hook um, because it does recommend a 5.5. So I'm going to go up a little bit since I crochet tight naturally. But yeah, we'll give it a shot. This is the color Cyberleaf, which it I feel like the name it for it is perfect because that's exactly what I think of like a cyber techno thing when I see the color. My friend Hannah sent it to me, so let's go ahead and give it a try and see how it turns out. So, I mean, looking at it, I don't think it's bad. I mean, yeah, we have some overages here, you know, here, here, here. But really, at the end of the day, those those things, at least for me, they don't bother me on a square. Um, if you are looking to do like a perfect square, I definitely don't think it's going to give you the perfect square. You're not going to have those perfect, you know, lineups. But I don't mind the little, you know, overages. I think you still get the overall effect of the color changes which is enough for me. I mean, I think it saves a lot of time and it's really fun. And I think it could create some really cool projects. I'm going to actually do a scarf out of these squares and maybe add like a little leafy border around it too. Now, also I did only chain one of the corners because that's my preference. I'm also a tight crocheter. I probably should to give it a real test, chain two or three, whichever it says here. actually says how much that's for the vest yeah I actually don't think this is for the vest I don't think they say specifically how much they want you to chain the corners I think because they know you know everybody crochets differently everybody is going to do different chains um, but I do see as you can see if you zoom in maybe I didn't see when I zoomed in on here not on the packaging obviously you can't zoom in on the packaging <laughs> but on the website if you zoom in, I'm going to find it. We have to find it now. I found it. I found the picture. So if you zoom in, we can definitely see they're chaining three in the corners, which was going to make a, a huge difference on if it variegates properly. But I just know to get this exact, exact, like perfect color changes, somebody had to do it like 25 times. <laughs> and they probably still even cut the yarn. Um, I love this color though. Uh, let's go ahead, let's make a square chaining three and try it out. Why not? Let's try it out and see what happens. Okay, so just finishing the first row, the color change is actually perfect. Look. Uh-oh. Is the secret just a chain three? <laughs> All right, so here is with chaining three and here's with chaining one. You can see it didn't make much of a difference. We still had those color changes coming through on the next rounds. Um, and I tried not to crochet as tight either, but it still still kind of came through. So 
Honestly, you know, if you're somebody that it really bothers you and you need those color changes to be perfect, this is not the yarn for you. Um, but if you're somebody like me that those don't really bother you as much, I work with a lot of variegated yarn, so the color changes overlapping, um, it doesn't bother me so much because I still I, th I still think we get the, the overall effect, the vibe of the color. You know, I'm still getting the effect it's supposed to give, so it doesn't bother me that it's a little off. Um, I'm going to keep trying with the squares and I'm going to be working on a scarf with them. So I'll show you what that looks like as I move along. But yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm not really a red heart girl, but it's kind of converted me. I actually really love it and it saves a lot of time doing it this way. But the sacrifice is you are not going to have perfect color changes. So do with that what you will. So here is the scarf I have with my side relief, a red heart, granny square, color changing yarn here. I'm about... It looks so good. I love it. This is the first time I've actually put it on. I love it. Um, I probably need like, honestly, maybe one more square and I'll be done. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, 13 would be more than enough. Maybe I'll even go to 15. And then I'm also going to put a border around it just to kind of, you know, get those lines nice. I'm doing these as a join as you go for the squares. Um, but I am going to do a border, I think with the same color, I'll just do side relief and we'll just watch the border change around. I think it'll be really cool too. I'm excited to end this project. So stay tuned for what this looks like when it's done. But I mean, yeah, see, like when you look at it, you're not looking, at least I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a perfectionist. My mom is, my mom would notice, but like, I'm not noticing the, the, the color changes being off. I'm noticing the overall effect of the colors, you know, like looking at it. I don't think it's bad. I think it looks really cool. I love it. I want to get it in a bunch of different colors now. So because of me, I'm distracted by the overall project. So I don't really look at the little details. Like if I just pull a square here, actually, this one looks pretty good. I can't even see. I can't even see where I messed up on color change here. Excuse me. That one was pretty darn good. I just picked out like the perfect square because my color changes must have been immaculate this one. I don't see, oh, I see a little bit here maybe. A little bit there. Oh yeah, look, it's green here, a little bit of blue here, but this one was very minimal. This is minimal offness, you know? Um, come over here, this one, I can see I have blue in the black part of this square. So I can see there's green in the blue, blue in the dark blue. This one you can see is off, but again, like you don't, really notice at least i don't i i love it i love this red heart grain square yarn i hope they come out a million more colors because this is gonna be my jam going forward i don't know it saved a lot of time not having a you know color change weaving all those extra ends <laughs> the yarns in my hair but i'm sold i love it maybe that's a hot take on this stuff but I, I absolutely love it i think you should get it i think you should try it it comes in at my joann's it's 9.49 each which is not bad considering how big these rolls are. I think they are 417 yards. So it's a good bit. It is more expensive than Red Heart usually is, but I think you're saving a lot of money not having to buy multiple colors too. Like it's kind of an all-in-one project deal. As far as this scarf, I think I'll actually be able to finish the whole thing with one skein um, minus the border. I am going to have to break into another skein for the border, I think. For sure I will. Uh, but that's it. I mean, you can always make your scarf shorter than mine too. I've got it pretty long so far already. So yeah, final takes. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Try it out. Let me know what you think.